I love Dolly Nam. For people who haven't seen it, you're playing a version of yourself, and your friend Dolly is playing a version of herself, and you play the more successful actress where she is the woman who's just broken up with her boyfriend in London. She comes out to live with you, and you have this brilliant idea that she can be your personal assistant. Yes. But I was curious if that initial inspiration came from you sort of seeing that odd relationship in the business of people that had. Yeah, it definitely did. It came from Dolly and I. Um, you know, we're really tight. Like, we've known each other our whole lives. So we've just spent a lot of time together kind of observing the this this entertainment showbiz world or whatever that we're both in. And yeah, one of the things that we really kind of were always fascinated by was this, the paid friend phenomenon, because very often they are the same socioeconomic background, they're the same age, they're the same sex, they kind of look alike a little bit. And yet the kind of unspoken white elephant in the room is that one's a huge movie star and the other one's their servant, kind of. Right. <laughs> and it's right. like, how does that work? Because they're best friends too, but so like, are there any times when the movie star will get the best friend something to eat or drink, or, or is, are the, is the best friend only ever serving the other? But there was something that we were touching on, I think, which was the kind of subject of, of jealousy um, and, and how that's kind of a taboo subject, but it's something that we all feel a lot. You know, a great and no one walks in a room and says, I'm feeling jealous. No, one's, no one owns up to it because it's, it's kind of embarrassing and it's not yeah. cool. And actually, you can't really tell the person that you're feeling jealous towards about feeling jealous towards them because it's just not very nice for them to have to deal with you feeling jealous of them and you don't, you're ashamed of the feeling yourself and so right. you kind of shut up about it and it never really gets outed as a thing. And I think that it's something that people feel all the time towards, often towards the people that they love most in the world and that that's the paradox that I found most interesting was that, okay, yeah, of course you're jealous about people that you've never met who are getting jobs that you'd quite like. But 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 more often than not, you feel kind of jealous of or threatened by people that you know and love having great things happen to them. Um, and on the one hand, you want the world for these people, of course. You want everything for the people that you love. You want them to succeed desperately. Um, and are so happy but that they are. But you just want to be succeeding at the same rate yes, at the same time with them. Yes, and of course, the minute they yeah. do, it makes you think about yourself and think, oh, well, maybe I'm a bit because they're, you know, so great. And I think you're always comparing yourself in a way. And um, and that's normal, but it doesn't really ever get outed as an emotion. Yeah. And we found kind of pleasure in, in, in delving into it. Into well, the writing's things. so good. And I think what your show proves and what all great work proves is that the more personal it is, the more you touch on things that seem very specific to you, those are the things that people really respond to. Yeah, and connect yeah, with. really telling the truth. The minute you're telling the minute you're telling the truth about something, people respond to it. And it doesn't matter how ugly the truth is. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.